Hey everybody, um, this is Nicole and as you can see, I am going to be doing a resin pour. So, um, this is going to be kind of like a massive resin pour. I'm not going to uh, do it all at once. I'm going to do it kind of in parts and then release it throughout the day so you can see uh, all the different little techniques that I've been wanting to try. Um, and then some of these items are going to be for um, donations, they're going to be for giveaways, they're going to be a part of a uh, mystery box, um, actually a mystery box uh, that I am uh, trading with uh, thrifts and stitches so um and we're gonna i'm gonna try and i've done it before but i want to see how it turns out um i so uh she actually wanted where did the bag go here um she wanted sorry she wanted uh, this mold here uh, with some lights in it. But before I do that, I am going to test out my theory on um, some other items first. So um, I'm going to, so first off, uh, this big massive tray is a Sakura uh, tray. Uh, this is actually going to be a gift for my youngest son's uh, mom. Uh, she and her family uh, deserve something nice. So her favorite color is green. So I picked out some nice green colors um, and this nice uh, mermaidy green uh, colored uh, glitter. And we're gonna do alcohol ink in this uh, massive tray. And then uh, for breast cancer awareness, I'm gonna do a giveaway for that. And I'm going to make this butterfly mold. And then what I'm going to do is I've got these uh, fairy lights, if you can see, and I'm going to make the butterfly pink um, and then I'm going to put the fairy lights in them. So I want to try the fairy lights because um, if you can see the filament is fairly thin. So I want to see whether or not it will stay in the resin well enough uh, without me having to consistently babysit it because that's sometimes the problem with certain things when you put in resin is you got to constantly babysit it. So that's one thing. And then, um, I apologize. I don't know what that was. Uh, I think somebody decided they're gonna ride their moped or motorcycle. Anyhow, so there's that. And then um, I actually found, and digging through some of my uh, molds, I found some trinket boxes and they come with lids. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put the lights in, uh, if you can see here, the box itself. And then the donations is going to be my uh, my oval uh, trays. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of those. And then um, I'm gonna try making, I've used this particular, there's this like really big uh, rectangular uh, tray and I'm gonna, I use it once, I was kind of like a so-so on it, but so I'm gonna try again. So first off, we're gonna do the Sakura tray and, um, and then uh, I am going to do uh, the butterfly. So what I'm hoping to do is to be able to scooch things over so that I can get this, so you guys can see me pour it and then see me pour the butterfly as well and then put the fairy lights in it um and uh in order to turn it on after everything is cured there's this little tab here you just pull it out and then um there is i believe yes 
there is a switch here that you can uh, turn on and off. Uh, so I'm hoping that everything works out and then uh, we'll unmold it and see how successful it is. Um, and then uh, if everything comes out the way I want it to come out, uh, I'm going to uh, make more, a whole lot more because thanks to you guys and purchasing my uh, mystery boxes on Etsy, I managed to get uh, a gallon of resin so that I can make all of these items to put in the shop and also donate, give away, um, and, and do all that kind of stuff. And then also um, make and put in my Etsy shop. And I'm hoping that you guys will support me with that as well and purchase my resin items. Um, and from what I've heard uh, from other people who have purchased my boxes is that actually the yarn mystery uh, box with yarn and the resin item is a better value than the mystery box with just the yarn. Not to say that there's anything wrong if you don't want the resin item, but um, uh, if you've seen me pour my resin stuff, like for example, like this, this is a jar that I poured. Um, this is going to Thris. Um, this is something that you could possibly get. So um, I suggest I have four boxes left for the uh, resin item box. And then I have two boxes left in my um, Etsy shop for just the yarn. Um, and I do have a couple of really exciting things coming up here soon. Uh, I'm just waiting to hear back um, on a couple of things. And then um, there's, uh, I have a lot of really fun things for you guys uh, along with the giveaway. Uh, the two, it's gonna be two giveaways. One is gonna be for breast cancer awareness. My mom is a survivor. Um, and then the other one is my 200 subscriber giveaway. I'm already, I think, at 215. If we can hit 300, I will continue to do milestone giveaways. So if you can help me get to 300, I will continue to do giveaways. I mean, I um, am dying to like just shower everybody with all kinds of wonderful things, um, whether it's resin items, um, fun yarn, stuff like that. So um, let's get started before the, the resin starts to cure. So I went ahead and I, of course, I poured the um, resin ahead of time. So um, this particular segment with the, the tray and then the uh, butterfly mold um, is going to be one uh, video and then there's going to be a couple more that I'm going to be probably posting today um, because I really want you guys to see um, my versatility and then um, I'm hoping that next week I can uh, sit down and do a crochet tutorial uh, for a clutch that I've been uh, working on the pattern for. Um, it's something that I've used before and uh, it's just a matter of feeling comfortable enough to use my new setup here uh, to do it. So, all right, so we're, I'm hoping that the eight ounces that I've uh, mixed is enough to fill this particular mold. Um, so, cause it is a very, very large mold. If you can't tell it's, it's bigger than my hand and granted I do have small hands. So, all right. So here we go. I'm trying not to lock anything so you can see. And I didn't mix the glitter in because I want to be able to control where I put the glitter. 
Um, so like I said, um, my youngest son's um, best friend, her uh, family, uh, you know, had, uh, deserve this, uh, her mom, or the, the mom, des um, she likes my resin stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to, uh, to make something for her. Uh, last Christmas, I actually made 22 of those uh, oval uh, trays for my son's uh, class. And apparently they were a massive hit. Uh, I think some of the parents actually ended up stealing the trays from the kids. And they were all unique in their own way. Um, so, all right. Uh, I'm just trying to get out some of the bubbles before I start putting the ink down. Okay, so this one is going to be the Petri dish. And like I said, her favorite color is green. So I'm going to be putting down different colors of green. Okay, so we, oh, oh no, that is not good. Just one second, let me grab a paper towel. Um, so, but I, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for uh, supporting my Etsy shop um, because it, it does allow me to do stuff like this um, and bring content to you guys along with purchasing more yarn um, and stuff like that. So, um, so first, the first color is Kiwi. Uh, second color is, uh, sorry, Turf. And the third color is pine. And then, like I said, this is uh, the glitter that I chose. So we're gonna put the uh, alcohol ink down first. And it, there's no like rhyme or reason, it's just kind of arbitrary. Um, for me, it's just a matter of will the person like it? So this is, this is the third color, this is Kiwi. Before that it was uh, turf, uh, if it will focus. And I really like, like, trays and stuff because it's very versatile. You can use it for anything. Um, and I know that there are some people out there who are looking for um, trinket boxes. So I was so happy that I was able to find these trinket boxes. I've got one square one and one hexagon one. So now we're going to put the pusher down. And don't forget to come back, uh, you know, tomorrow and uh, see how everything turned out. Because, again, uh, I'm not going to, like, do, like, so many... Or I'm not going to unmold everything all at once unless you want me to. I mean, I'm happy to do, like, a one-hour whatever video. Um if that's what you want um and unmold everything for you um and unfortunately because this is all green i'm not i'm just kind of guessing as to where i put everything so um that's the only thing that's hard 
about stuff like this when you're you're working with just like one particular uh, color so I'm just guesstimating and that's okay And this is going to be the last layer of uh, the color. Um, it, it's going to be, then I'm just going to put the pusher down and then I'm going to um, pause for a minute and then I'm going to mix up a little bit of resin for the butterfly mold. Um, and that particular butterfly is going to be pink. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to probably make two so that the winner of the giveaway will get two uh, pink butterflies uh, in uh, the, the giveaway. Um, there's, there's lots of yarn in the giveaway. Uh, I went through what I had in my stash so um, it's going to be a pretty decent sized giveaway so uh, i'm hoping either not tomorrow but the next day i will announce the uh the giveaway and what you need to do uh to enter so um if you're not subscribed please subscribe um because you have to in order to be able to enter so and then of course turn the notification button on all right so that's that now we're going to add the glitter the fun stuff okay so i'm just going to like kind of sprinkle it around and then i'll show you what i like to do to kind of control um where the glitter goes Hopefully you can see this. All right, so we've got the glitter. I'm gonna use my popsicle stick that I use to mix the clear resin. And what I'm gonna do is I am just going to move things around just a little bit. All right, so that's that. I'm not. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Okay. So we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. So now we're going to do this one. So I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna pour just a little bit of resin, and then um, I'll hop back on and we're gonna pour uh, the mold. And it's good. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit of uh, different shades of pink. And then I'm going to see if I can get the fairy light to go into the mold. So um, if you wanna hold on a second, I will be right back. All right, everybody. Um, so I went ahead and I poured um, a whole bunch more of the clear resin because um, obviously we're going to be doing more stuff uh, but I wanted to show you how the fairy lights work so I'm going to pull the tab and then dang it. okay so there's the switch and then that's that's the lights and what's nice is, is it's connected by a wire so essentially you can like shape it into what you want so let's hope that this works so i am actually i'm gonna shut it off
so um it, like i said in the giveaway for the breast cancer awareness um i am going to be making two of the butterfly uh resin uh butterflies and uh they will be essentially the same color um just like with anything else you know you can't necessarily get the exact color um but it'll be as close as possible um so uh i will um it's going to be with mica um powders and then um and then i'm going to add the lights what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to make the mica as um translucent as possible so that you can see the lights so um if you want to just be patient while i try to get this where i want it i essentially kind of want it on uh the edges and then you know kind of winding into the center um, and then what I'm going to do um, hopefully you're able to see this uh, is uh, then I will pour uh, the pigmented resin over the uh, the lights so I don't plan, like I said, I don't plan on putting a whole lot of mica in it um, because I want whoever it is that wins it, uh, when you turn on the lights, you are able to actually see the lights. Um, I've done this before on a, uh, a bowl that I made for somebody and it was... Uh, a wooden bowl. I didn't make the wooden bowl, um, but I put uh, resin in it to make it look like the ocean. And then I put the fairy lights inside and then um, you turn on uh, the fairy lights and it kind of looks like, you know, luminescent like fish or uh, plankton or whatnot uh under under the ocean so um that's essentially kind of what i'm looking for um you know the the color the lights uh that you would see at night or that kind of thing and i equated to uh, for those of you who uh, are still fighting the good fight with breast cancer that there is uh, a light at the end of the tunnel and those of you who have are in or who are in remission uh, that uh, this you know this is your uh, your I guess I don't know uh, reward uh i don't know how what you want to call it but i really like the idea uh so it kind of popped into my head so that's uh that's what we're going so i'm going to pause it because this might take me a little bit and then when i've got everything kind of situated i will come back and then i will um i'll show you uh, me pouring the resin over the lights okay so uh i hope you can see that the uh fairy lights are in there um i'll just turn it on really quick okay um and i poured just a teeny tiny little bit of resin in each of my cups here um because the mold itself is really shallow and so I want to be able to, you know, get the colors that I want in there, in there. So if you can just be a little patient while I divvy out a little bit of color. Um, I'm not going to put any glitter. 
Um, Cause I just, it wouldn't make any sense to do so. Um, and then, so the first color was, um, let's see. Uh, creamy pink. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and then the next color is uh, Fandango Pink. You know what's funny is that I, my favorite color used to be pink until like, uh, you know, it, it's now blue. Um, And then I'm thinking, um, you guys tell me, uh, I have rhinestones. And so I'm thinking about adding rhinestones to the edge of the, uh, the butterflies. Uh, I have all different colors of uh, rhinestones. And so if that's something uh, you think would be fun, I'd be more than happy to add rhinestones because that's something else that I do is I rhinestone uh, cups and um, like the uh, phone, those phone grip thingies. Um, I, I made a whole bunch for like my mom for like when she was still working, I made some for her office. Uh, so I'm gonna actually add some, a little bit of white to this one here. All right. Now, wish me luck that pouring it all goes the way it should. Okay, so we're gonna mix. So that's that one. This one, and um, so like these butterfly uh, molds, uh, they're actually large enough where you can actually use them as coasters. So um, I'm actually thinking about making possibly four of them so that if you want, I can make four and you can use them as coasters. So um, I'll think on it and if, if I'm up to it, I'll make uh, that many and then that'll be a part of the giveaway, so. Um, we'll see how I feel after I do this massive pour. So, all right, so here we go. Wish me luck. So this is the first color. And yep, I know that the lights are sticking out and that's fine because I'm going to push it down. All right, that's that. And then the last one. And it may, I have a feeling, overflow a little bit because of the lights. Which I'm okay with because that's what my sander is for. And I do have... Uh,
UV resin to um, fill in where it needs to be filled in. And don't do like I'm doing and sticking your fingers in here. Uh, you should be wearing gloves. I don't know, I think I tend to be more tactile when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, having gloves makes it harder for me to actually feel what's going on uh, so don't do what I am doing use gloves all of that stuff okay so I'm pretty pleased with this um, I'm probably gonna have to babysit it because of the fact that as the resident cures it's going the wires are gonna pop up and that's fine. Um, I'll just come, it will have to come back and press them down into the resin until it gets tacky enough where it sticks. All right. So that's that. Now I have a little bit of extra resin. And as you know, we don't waste. So what we're going to do is I am going to uh, use it in something else along with uh, all of this. So I am going to uh, pour this jar. This jar is for do donation. Um, I'm going to get a couple more cups and I am going to pick out some other colors. Be right back. 